Hello students, let us have a look at our fourth chapter that is electromagnetic induction and alternating currents. After studying this chapter, you will be able to understand Faraday's laws, discuss induced EMF in electromagnetic induction, explain eddy current, describe the fundamentals of alternating current, define the RMS value of an alternating current or voltage, explain AC sources, understand simple AC circuits, define the power in AC circuits, understand wattless current. First we will try to understand what is electromagnetic induction. Electromagnetic induction is the production of a potential difference voltage across a conductor when it is exposed to a varying magnetic field. The magnetic field through a loop can be changed either by changing the magnitude of the field or by changing the area of the loop. To be able to quantitatively describe these changes, magnetic flux is defined as phi is equal to Ba cos theta where theta is the angle between B and the direction perpendicular to the plane of the loop. An electric motor is a device for converting electrical power to mechanical force. This is a very simple structure of electric motor which consists of battery, commutator, brushes, copper wire loop and permanent magnet. When current flows to the commutator, the loop rotates into a magnetic flux. An electric generator is a device that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. A generator forces electric current to flow through an external circuit. In electric generator, mechanical force is used to rotate the loop in the magnetic field and it produces electric current. Faraday's laws Faraday's first law states that whenever a conductor cuts a magnetic field or vice versa, an EMF is induced in it and its setup is such in such a direction so as to oppose the cause of it. Faraday's second law states that the magnitude of induced EMF is equal to the rate of change of flux linkage. E is equal to induced EMF. N is equal to number of turns of coil. DQ by DT is equal to rate of change of flux. The minus sign represents that the induced EMF or current sets up in a direction so as to oppose the cause of it. Induced EMF. The current produced by the relative motion of the coil or the magnet is called an induced current and is said to be set up by an induced electromotive force EMF. Let's understand the induced EMF through an example. Here a coil is connected to a sensitive galvanometer. This circuit contains no outsource of electricity and galvanometer shows zero. When a bar magnet moves towards the coil, a deflection is observed at the galvanometer. The magnet moves away from the coil. The galvanometer shows again deflection. Eddy current. The word eddy means a circular current. Eddy currents are electric currents induced within conductors by a changing magnetic field in the conductor. These circulating eddies of current have inductance and thus induce magnetic fields. Let's now try to understand how is it produced. First of all, take a solenoid with a soft iron core and connect to it with an AC source. When a metallic disc held on the cross action phase of the soft iron core, the metallic disc will be thrown into the air. It has happened due to electric current produce magnetic flux into the solenoid and it increases zero to infinite value. This change produces induced current in the disc. The upper phase of soft iron core contains the same polarity as the lower phase of disc and disc is repelled by soft iron core. Fundamentals of alternating current. 
the majority of electrical power in the world is generated, distributed and consumed in the form of 50 or 60 hertz sinusoidal alternating current, AC and voltage. In alternating current, the flow of electric charge periodically reverses direction. Current changes direction 120 times per second. Transmission of high voltage in terms of kV is that less current is required to produce the same amount of power. Less current permits smaller wires to be used for transmission. Alternation current can be produced by generators and after inverts the DC to AC power. The most common AC waveform is a sine or sinusoidal waveform. Sine waves are the signal whose shape neither is nor altered by a linear circuit. Therefore, it is ideal as a test signal. The sine wire or sinusoid is a mathematical curve that describes a smooth repetitive oscillation. It is named after the function sine of which it is the graph. It occurs often in pure and applied mathematics. RMS value of an alternating current. The RMS value of an AC supply is the steady DC which would convert electrical energy to thermal energy at the same rate in a given resistance. The RMS value is the original D. Arsonval instruments read the average of the current flowing through them, so they were suited for DC current measurements. But when AC currents entered the field, those instruments read zero. In general, if an AC generator is connected to a component of resistance R, the instantaneous power dissipated in the component is equal to I square R. The mean value of I square is equal to where I is the maximum or peak value of I. The root mean square value of the current is therefore AC sources. Changing magnetic flux can induce an EMF according to Faraday's law of induction. In particular, if a coil rotates in the presence of a magnetic field, the induced EMF varies sinusoidally with time and leads to an alternating current AC and provides a source of AC power. The symbol for an AC voltage source is the circuit contains two resistive elements and a sinusoidal voltage source. The voltage appearing across the source at any given time can be found using the relationship shown here. The sine function is periodic in time. This means that the value of the voltage at time t will be exactly the same at a later time t dash is equal to plus t t where t is the period. The frequency f defined as f is equal to 1 by t has the unit of inverse seconds s minus 1 or hertz hz. The angular frequency is defined to be omega is equal to 2 pi f. After an initial transient time, an AC current will flow in the circuit as a response to the driving voltage source. The current written as will oscillate with the same frequency as the voltage source with amplitude 10 and phase omega that depends on the driving frequency. Simple AC circuits. In alternating current AC circuits, instead of a constant voltage supplied by a battery, the voltage oscillates in a sine wave pattern varying with time as in a household circuit, the frequency is 60 Hz. The angular frequency is related to the frequency F by VO represents the maximum voltage which in a household circuit in North America is about 170 volts. We talk of a household voltage of 120 volts, though this number is a kind of average value of the voltage. The particular averaging method used is something called root mean square. Square the voltage to make everything positive. Find the average, take the square root or RMS. 
voltages and currents for AC circuits are generally expressed as RMS values. For a sine wave, the relationship between the peak and the RMS average is RMS value is equal to 0.707 peak value par in AC circuits. AC circuits are circuit whose currents change directions back and forth many times each second. The current in an AC circuit behaves this way because in contrast to a DC circuit's constant voltage, an AC circuit is driven by a rapidly oscillating voltage source. In an AC circuit, the voltage can be calculated according to this formula and current can be calculated same as voltage. Par is the product of voltage and current and it is denoted as par is equal to Vi and par in LCR circuit is AC generator. A generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. In generator, an induced EMF is produced by rotating a coil in a magnetic field. The flux linking the coil changes continuously, hence a continuous fluctuating EMF is obtained. It consists of two oppositely concave cylindrical core magnets, an armature and a current collecting arrangement. The current collecting arrangement consists of slip rings and brush. As armature rotates about an axis perpendicular to the magnetic field, magnetic flex keeps on changing continuously with time. This change produces induced EMF and the deflection shows on the galvanometer that show induced EMF produces the current. Transformer A transformer can be defined as a static device which helps in the transformation of electric power in one circuit to electric power of the same frequency in another circuit. The voltage can be raised or lowered in a circuit but with a proportional increase or decrease in the current ratings. The main principle of operation of a transformer is mutual inductance between two circuits which is linked by a common magnetic flux. If two coils are inductively coupled and current changes through on the two coils, then EFM is induced in the other coil due to mutual induction. The transformers construct of rectangular soft iron core made up of laminated sheets. The sheets are well insulated to each other. Two coils P1, P2 and S1, S2 are round at same core and well insulated to each other. The AC source is connected to coil P1, P2 which becomes primary coil. A load resistance is connected to coil S1, S2 which is a secondary coil. In a step up transformer, the number of turns of secondary coil is more than primary coil and the wire thickness is more in primary coil. This type of transformer converts low voltage to high voltage at low current.